Here we are in Burnley College. Yes, Fantastic. we are. Very, very good. Loads of cameras. Yes. Uh, Prime Minister, Burnley College has been mentioned in Parliament on a couple of occasions. Yes. Now that you have visited the <coughs> college, what are your impressions? I think it is amazing. It's got an incredible atmosphere. And I think the thing that really impresses me is the uh, the way that the uh, so many of the students are already in in a, in, a, in, a, in another place of work. So they're working with companies that are at the cutting edge of all sorts of things that this country needs. Plus, they're learning, they're, they're skilling themselves up uh, here in Burnley College as, as well. I think it's, uh, it's great facilities, good big size campus, but just massive amounts of enthusiasm. And it, it, it is so important that our country gets the skills we need. You know, we have amazing potential as, as a country, but too many young people do not get the chance early on enough to develop those skills. And I'm seeing, I'm, it fills me with, with optimism because they're, they're getting, people are getting, not just getting a skill, they're getting massive, massive self-confidence. Thank you. How are you planning to support young people transitioning <coughs> out of a COVID era, especially those in poorer areas of the country? Uh, one of the things that we're doing is, is helping people to, to, to uh, make up for the lost time in education during COVID. We've targeted uh, tutoring. So, so in, in schools in particular, what we're saying is uh, we want 100 million hours worth or 6 million uh, tutoring opportunities uh, for kids in, in, in the country. Because there'll be loads of kids who have potential but have just fallen behind because of COVID. And now is the chance at uh, the moment where we've got to be investing. So we're putting billions into it, one, one and a half billion into into tutoring. I think it's a very, very good thing. 60% of, of schools have taken up tutoring. So my message today uh, here in Burnley College is, what about the other 40%? Uh, we want you to take up the, the, those tutoring opportunities for, for your, uh, your students. It will make a big difference. In this post-COVID era, how do you plan to further support young people in repairing the significant, <coughs> significant effects on their mental health? I think that the uh, COVID pandemic has had a uh, a, a, a noticeable impact on people in all sorts of ways and I think mental health has been under strain. Young people have been, uh, they've been forced into uh, lockdowns uh, you know, by, by us, by the government over long periods. They haven't been able to see uh, their friends in school in the way that they, they wanted to. Uh, I think it has been, it has been very, very tough. And so it's important that people are able to, to talk about their feelings and not feel embarrassed and that is the crucial thing. The crucial thing with mental health is for people to, be, to have uh, the sense that there's somebody who can listen uh, because I'm a firm, firm believer that that can, uh, that can, that can make a difference. So we're putting £2.3 billion into supporting uh, mental health, uh, mental health care for young people and uh, you, you help to fix mental health, you fix physical health as well. But the best thing, I mean, this is, you know, you, you, it's, um, this is what my my, uh, you know, my parents always taught me the best thing for your mental health is to be in a good job or a good place of work and getting on with something that really stimulates and interests you. And that will drive your confidence, it will drive your self-esteem and you get into a, a virtuous cycle as well. Thank you. I mean, just the college well, also, oh, the, sorry. No, almost. The college also has a thousand A-level students who are really? sitting here, many of whom go to Oxford and Cambridge Universities and the Russell Group. So as well as I know, I know, as well as I know. Tests. It's incredible. It's got everything. But yeah. but you need you know this this country. We 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 need to recognise that there is, uh, you know, the the kind of jobs you can get without necessarily going to. Uh, a Russell Group University or, 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 or whatever are going to be just as good, just as well paid, just as stimulating. And we need people to get those skills. We, we really do. And uh, what we can't do is, is you know, um, have problems like, you know, not enough welders or not enough IT people. And so the, so you, the economy uh, kind of seizes up. Yes. And you get, that's when you get inflation. So we need you. And the success of the college is all of those people working together, the A-level students, the apprentices, the degree apprentices, the university yes. students, in the same environment, yes. learning from each other and having aspirations together. That is completely right, because in, in a great place of learning like this, you don't just learn from the, from the, the, the teachers and the staff, you learn overwhelmingly from the, 
everybody, everybody else is here. Anyway, I'm being, I'm Shelley's telling me I've got to shut yeah, up. That's fine. Right. Thank, uh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Lovely to see you all. Thank you. Thank you.